What's good sports gamers and today I'll be going over with you how to control your base runners properly in MLB The Show 21 and when to play it safe and aggressive on the base pass so you're not getting caught out here in rundowns or at third because you don't know how to make your guy move. So alright let's get it. Now firstly I'm going to be talking about the advance all function which by holding L1 on PlayStation and LB on Xbox will tell everybody you have on base to advance to the next bag. There's a few situations this comes in clutch. On tag up situations from the outfield, if you have somebody on base simply holding L1 or LB when the outfielder makes the catch will cause them to tag up to his next base with one button press. This is even better if you have two base runners on or if the bases are loaded. Hitting advance all will cause every player to advance to their next base. This is more risky with the option for a cutoff man the defense has but the deeper the outfielder catches the ball, the more likely you are to get away with this type of aggression. Also on 50-50 ball, so line drives or deep shots that you're not sure the outfielder could get to, because the computer will always play these as the 50-50 balls they are, and stop halfway between the base. So if you hold L1 or LB, it will cause them to move to the next bag, regardless of what's happening in the outfield. These types of plays won't happen too often, but you will start to have a gut feeling on when the ball is going to drop, so it's not so much guessing anymore. And you can also take advantage of the advance all function on clear hits. Holding L1 or LB will tell each player that touches their next base to keep going as soon as they touch the bag. You see, they all don't automatically have the next base underneath them until they touch it. So even though you're telling everybody to go, they won't until they touch the next bag. Since it's a guaranteed hit, the game will advance everybody automatically one bag. But because I was hitting advance all, as soon as each guy got to their next base, they all took one more. So because they all don't automatically go to the next base until they touch the one they're running towards first, when you hit advance all, you can in a way cancel their intentions to do so. If the throw is looking a little dangerous for you by letting go of L1 or LB before they reach the next bag. You see, I let go of advance all once the guy passed third. And since the guy running to second hadn't run past his yet, he stays. And so does Harper run into first. This example, once I saw the outfielder gunning for home, I used the advance all feature to have my other two base runners steal an extra bag as well. You're going to see a lot of players test you on this when they know you're going to try to throw somebody out at home by trying to steal a base going from first to second. Now we're going to combine advance all with how majority of your base running is going to be done this year. While holding advance all, the guy running to second goes to third, but I kept it held while Harper rounded first. So as a result, he's on his way to second, which I don't want. So to change that, you want to aim the left stick towards the direction of the base runner you want to control which in this case is directly to the right. When you do it correctly, their circle will light up, letting you know they're activated and waiting for your command. Now is when you want to tell them you want your guy to stay at first by hitting the button that corresponds to the first base bag, which is circle on PlayStation and B on Xbox. Here on a slow hopper to right and anybody really that's running to second and the ball is hitting to shallow right field only has a decent shot going to third unless you're Terrence Long. I don't know how many people would get that reference. Reese Hoskins is hardly fast and the throw was offline, but you see it still would have been a tough throw to make for the outfielder. So because the base runner will automatically advance to the next base on guaranteed hits, I can ignore him running to second base and tell him to go straight for third. Which again, you do so by aiming up and to the right since that's where the runner is at. And then once highlighted, hitting square or X on my controller to tell him to go to third. Here, based on how hard that ball was crushed by Bryce, I told Reese to go straight home by aiming the left stick at him on the bases and hitting X on PlayStation and A on Xbox. If you watched enough baseball without playing this game, you will know there's no way they will get you out going home. You just need to know how to do it. Then we get real wild telling Bryce to now go to second, which we do so by aiming our left stick to the right, since that's where he's at. And once his circle is highlighted, hit in triangle or Y on our controller. This is the type of situation you're going to want to know how to control multiple base runners at once. Because people are going to do it against you and attempt to steal extra bases on you because of it. Now I do it again, tell Reese to go home and Bryce to second. But the outfielder got the ball in quickly and it started to look a little shaky for me. 
So instead of trying to force my mad rush home, I could use my left stick to aim at Reese, which will be down and to the left, and then hit square or X on my controller, which would have told him to go back to third. I didn't hear because I wanted to see if he could beat the throw, but that would have been the correct play to make. Now lastly, we're gonna get real funny, and we're gonna try and control all three base runners at once. So here I point up and to the left to tell the guy running to third to go home by pressing X or A if you're on Xbox. I point up and to the right to tell the guy running to second to now go to third. And the guy running to first, which you aim to the right to go to second, which is triangle or Y if you're on Xbox. Now you could get into a groove manually controlling each guy on the fly. I notice the ball is still in the outfield, so I go back and aim at the guy running to third with my left stick and now tell him to go home by pressing X or A, by noticing the opportunity that was there for me to take. I'm telling you guys, it's super important for you to get the hang of constantly switching to different runners and telling them what to do at the right times so you won't get caught slipping out here being super aggressive when the situation doesn't call for it or not aggressive enough when you could have gotten an extra base for your runner. But with that, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more MLB The Show 21 content. And hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.